Welcome. Let me explore a curious question. Here are two classic types of figure at numbers, the square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, that come arra from arranging pebbles into square shapes, and the triangle numbers, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and so on, that come from arranging pebbles into triangular shapes. I want to know which has more numbers. Are there more square numbers than there are triangular numbers? Are there more triangular numbers than there are square numbers? Or maybe the numbers, the, the count of each is equal? In fact, in some sense, the question is silly, because clearly there are infinitely many square numbers and keep going forever. There are infinitely many triangular numbers, so in that sense, there's equally many of each. But in another sense, maybe there is meaning to my question. For example, the square numbers seem to be fairly sp uh, sparse. Uh, they go up by 3, then up by 5, then up by 9, up by 11. Whereas the triangle numbers go up by small amounts, up by 2, up by 3, up by 4, up by 5. So in some sense, they seem to grow less fast, these triangular numbers, so maybe there should be more of them. How many more? How can I make sense of that? Well, one way to ask that question is, okay, maybe choose some number n and just ask, how many square numbers are there up to that number n? And how many triangle numbers are there? And then compare those counts. For example, if n is 10, I happen to know there are square numbers 1, 4, and 9. There are three square numbers less than or equal to 10. Whereas for the triangle numbers, I have 1, 3, 6, and 10. There are four triangle numbers less than or equal to 10. In fact, let me show you a little table I made. I did this for 10 and 100 and all sorts of numbers. Let me just clear my screen and bring you my table. Here it is. For the numbers up to 10, I, s I counted there were three triangle square numbers up to, equal to less than or equal to 10, and there's four triangle numbers less than or equal to 10. That comes in a ratio of 4 to 3, 1.33. If I go to 100, it turns out there's 10 square numbers up to 113 triangle numbers, ratio of 1.30. Up to 1,000, I've got 31 square numbers, whoops, compared to 44 triangle numbers, more triangles, ratio of 1.42. Up to 10,000, there's 100 square numbers versus 140. Triangle numbers, ratio of 1.40. 316, 446, up to 100,000, ratio of 1.41. And it seems that this ratio is converging some value. If you had to make a guess, 1.41, most people start to think that's looking very much like the square root of 2. So I'm wondering if this ratio of the number of triangle numbers less than or equal to n to the number of square numbers, whoops, less than or equal to n, wants to become the square root of 2? That's the question. In which case, I could say in some sense there are root 2 more triangular numbers than there are square numbers. In fact, this is indeed true, and let me prove it. That's the point of this video. Let's prove that in this particular context there are root 2 more triangular numbers than there are square numbers. Jolly ho, here we go. So I need some uh, formulas for these things, and it's not too bad. Let me get my pen back. So. Here's the nth square number. Clearly it comes from multiplying n by itself. It's n squared. The nth triangle number comes from a triangle with 1 dot plus 2 dots plus 3 dots all the way up to n dots. And in a previous video I gave a form for the sum of the numbers 1 up to n. It's n squared plus n divided by 2. Alright, so I'm going to ask... Oh dear, I've just repeated my symbols on me. Alright, I want to know the number of square numbers. Let's, let's do this. How many square numbers let's, sk less than or equal to n? Well, that's easy to answer, how many squares are less than or equal to n. That is, I need to solve how many square numbers k squared are less than or equal to n. That is, I need k to be less than or equal to the square root of n. So, I don't know, how many k's are there that are less than the square root of n? Well, they could be 1, they could be 2, all the way up to the this, this largest number that just squeaks under root n. And most people say it's root n rounded down to the largest number below it. So, in some sense, the number of square numbers less than or equal to n is root n rounded down to the nearest integer. Now, how many triangle numbers are less than or equal to n? All right, so let's look at all the kth triangle, kth triangle numbers less than or equal to n. That is, I want k squared plus k over 2 to be less than or equal to n. That is, I want k squared plus k to be less than or equal to 2n. OK, this is a little quadratic. And I can see that k squared plus k is almost a perfect square. In fact, if I add a quarter to both sides, I can now see this is really k plus a half squared, and I want that to be less than 2n plus a quarter. Taking square roots means I want k plus a half to be less than the square root of 2n plus a quarter, looking not very friendly but manageable, that is k needs to be some number less than the square root of 2n plus a quarter minus a half. That is, k can be any of the numbers 1 up to the largest possible integer that squeaks under this formula on the right. That is, k could be 1, 2, all the way up to square root of 2n plus a quarter minus a half, rounded down to the nearest integer just below it. So the number of triangular numbers less than or equal to n is given by that.
crazy formula. Well, let's compare these two formulas. And to do that, let me give myself a little more space. All right, and let's do this in bright, bold red. So if n is really large, like if we're getting up to like the hundreds of thousands and the millions and so forth, so n really large, this formula, the number of squares less than or equal to n, well, if I'm rounding square root of n to a I'm just taking off some fractional part, it's basically root n. So basically root n for n is really large. You know, square root of a million, take away a little fractional part because I'm off, no big deal. Now, if n is really large, this formula, what is it basically? Well, root 2n plus a quarter minus a half. Subtracting a half when I'm in the tens of millions is not going to make a big deal. Also, adding a quarter within the square root is not really a big deal. So basically, for really large n, this formula wants to be really close to the square root of 2n. That is, it's root 2 times root n. That is, this formula here basically wants to be root 2 times that formula there, when n is really large. So in that sense, I'm going to say there are root 2 more triangular numbers than there are square numbers. Now, of course, the Greeks didn't just stop at square and triangular numbers. They also talked about pentagonal numbers and hexagonal numbers and so on. So I guess my next question is, if I know there are root 2 more triangular numbers, that are triangular numbers than there are square numbers, then how many more square numbers are there than pentagonal numbers? And how many more pentagonal numbers are there than hexagonal numbers? Sounds like a fun little research project. All right, thanks very much.